So, so Sims fam, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Planet Zoo with the Sims creatress that is myself. Um, I am so excited because today we are getting started on a new um, habitat that, let's see, we've got our animals arriving here and we've got some capuchin monkeys and a couple of these um, collared peccary and so I need to um, update this for the habitat name. So we just have gotten it started here. Um, we do need to add some other things like some food items, um, make sure that the terrain and climbing and all that kind of stuff is up here. Um, but we have two female capuchins um, and then a male. And because they actually benefit from having the collared peccary in their habitat, we have two of those as well. So we used a couple of our um, conservation credits, um, but I feel like that's okay because we need to continue to add to the zoo. And conservation credits are really how we are able to get, um, we're just going to push play so we can see this in motion. Many, okay. We'll do 15 and 10 on the ticket prices. That way we continue to have more money coming in. So this one is um, a combination uh, habitat, obviously. We need to get these set up. We're gonna do the capuchin information over here. And then um, we're gonna do this colored peccary over here. And then that way we have that. I feel like I do need to adjust this just slightly. Um, that's looking better. There we go. Now that looks like it's on there the way it should be. Okay, let's get our water containers. Oh, we don't have any. I guess that made it put that on there because I set that there whenever the animal was there. Um, one moment here. Okay, so let us see. We need to get some water. Um, let's get some those water kind of container here. Um, and we're going to put it there and then let's see what kind of I don't know what kind of food container they need um let me click on them so I can kind of see what they need here oh. what is the um Colombian white faced mm filter by species get that so they might need a medium size food trough which we're gonna put over here and then let's see the capuchin monkey there we go and for now, we're going to go with one of these size um, containers here. And I feel like maybe, hmm, I always kind of want to put it up, but like it has to be accessible to the staff. So I feel like that's not going to be, I'm going to move this one a little bit up here. Oh, uh, how's that inaccessible? Okay, now it's accessible. Um, okay, what else do we need? Look at all the people who've gathered over here to look at them. Oh my goodness. That's so exciting. Okay, for the capuchin monkey, we need um, some more coverage, more hard shelter. Um, oh wow, I didn't realize that 
like just putting these in here would actually help the navigable climbing space. I'm gonna dupe that. I wonder if we can stack these. I don't know why I've never tried it before, but I wanna see it, since like these are climbing animals. Oop. And I'm just gonna take this one and duplicate that one since it's already like established there. Okay, I've never tried that before. We're gonna take this one off of there. Actually, I don't mind it being there, but maybe just move it back. There we go, there's that. And then we can um, maybe add some climbing items here. Goodness. We're gonna put just some like other little like platforms over here. And I might start to turn them to where I can have it like link up with this little mound. That's actually looking kind of cute. We're gonna put this little tree trunk over here to kind of help make it. No. I like how tall that one is. But I also, yeah, I like the natural element of some of these. Um, we're gonna put this up here. Maybe the side of that. I feel like this is gonna end up making it like this super cute. Um, I'm gonna add some like bridge things kind of from one area to the other. So I'm just trying to like get this kind of married up a little bit. Okay, that's kind of cute. Can put this um here next to that now. And then the same thing with this. We'll move that back this way. Just a little bit closer there. And then what else can we put over here? Um, habitat. Maybe, let's say maybe a little bit of a ramp type thing. I'm trying to just put this ramp to where it would be like able to connect with that. Okay, there's that. That's so cute, guys. And then we're gonna add this little natural platform up here off the side of this, maybe. Um, oh my gosh, I'm really liking the way that this is turning out, actually. Which I feel like is kind of just another one of these big Um, like, let me get this up here to where it actually matches. Oh my goodness, why is that doing that now? Yeah, I just want it, like, to hang over the top a little bit like that. I'm going to duplicate this one, bring it over here. Maybe spin it this way a little bit to where it's all kind of like facing slightly different directions, make it more interesting seeming. But I think that's starting to look super cute. Um, let's see. I wonder if any of these bridges, if we can like angle it to actually make it. 
Um, so like if I want to make it like up here, if we can rotate it, oh yeah. Oh, this makes it like this little bridge now that goes up to the thing. It's looking pretty cute. Like, let's do just a little bit more on this to make this really go in. Guys, oh my gosh, that's pretty cute. Like, I'm not loving this here still, but... I feel like I want to do something to join these two up, but I don't know if there's anything that would span that right now. Okay, let's just see if we can come in and see how this capuchin is feeling now. Let's just click on one. We need some more. What is happening? Why did they get like repositioned? We're gonna get this block of frozen fruit up here. A suspended forager. I think I wanna put that there. I didn't realize they need like a forage box too. Put that back here. So they need more toys. Get one of these like little mirror setups over here. There. Oh, we can do like a little musical keyboard. Where should we put that? Should we put it over here? <laughs> I don't know why it kind of makes it feel like they're like giving a concert or something. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's so happy. Happy Capuchin. It's so cute, you guys. Oh, that's like glitching, kind of funny, like where the roof and the floor are. Oh my goodness, it's so adorable. Look at the little one over there, just being so happy. Okay, that makes me happy. Now let's just double check on the other little guys over here. Okay, we need to see um, what... Let's come back to the species and we're looking for the collared peccary. We could do like some tree bits over here. And we're gonna do one over here as well. Maybe it won't let me. Mm, why won't it let me do that? I'm gonna add that there. Ooh, the collared peccary wants a mud bath as well. We're gonna. Mm, why can't we put that there? Well, I know it's looking obstructed. We're gonna need to move this food container, I think, to over here. And then we should be able to get this over here now. There we go. All right. Well, that should make them a bit happier. And because they have the bonus from being in, um, there's too few adults in the. Well, hopefully we'll be able to get some more soon so that their social stuff doesn't. Like suffer. Oh my gosh, they're looking so cute. How did he get up there? Did he walk over there from the other thing? I'm so confused. Okay, let's just see. Let's uh, oh, I was not expecting it to jump like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's hilarious. Oh, it's like a little piglet kind of thing that's so cute guys okay let's see if we need to do any more um yeah i know that their social is a little bit down um 
And then let me see here. Oh, I wanted to double check and make sure there was enough habitat now for them. It should be the capuchins. They need more soil. Okay, we can do that. Um, I like to kind of do some of the terrain that is like above ground that has stuff um, because I feel like that makes it look more like weathered and how it should. So there's that. Oh, wow. We are definitely, we are above and beyond on our, okay, we need North American. Let's get some plants up here to kind of help like make this feel like it's more like an actual habitat. Mm. I'm just kind of placing some of these things and I don't want it to be like too, too random, but it's pretty random because we want it to like feel like it should be um, some of these nice little areas. And just like with all my other builds, I do love to put in some of these. Oh, this one's like a big lobster claw plant. I like that. Put in some like plants around these areas that they're going to be at quite a bit. That's cute. I'm liking that. Mm, maybe. An ostrich had an offspring. What? Okay, let's bring this down here. That way. Maybe bring some over here to kind of camouflage this back. I put a couple back here. This is starting to look a bit more like it's. I just realized there was a bunch of these things that were clicked all at the same time. So mm, we're gonna put some of this nettle over here. They needed so much more coverage. I just realized that we're just on plants as well. So that's interesting. Mm, we're going to put some of these trees. That is not what it wants. Mm. Okay, I want to like reset all of these, I think. And let's see if we can search by the actual... Um, I'm go by tropical for a minute. Because I want some of these ferns to be like on this as well. And let me get that out of the way. Let me see. Is this, why is this doing this? I'm just gonna have to figure out which ones they really want for this habitat. This is a gigantic tree. Holy crap. I'm gonna bring it this way some. It's growing out at the top of that. It kind of creates a nice little, how does it go from this size to this? Like, I, I get that it's a sapling, but my goodness, that is quite a difference in size. All right, that's starting to do something here. Um...
I'm going to try to get some of these over here by these climbing areas as well. And to make it almost, almost like it's the trees that they're able to climb. But it's not the trees. But it gives them kind of that canopy feel, you know? Let's see. I want to move that one a little bit. Because it's definitely going into my platform. All right. This is like a little habitat now, though. Look at that. Oh, look at it. Okay, where did all of our animals go? It's dark. I can't see them. Okay, let's find them. Oh, they're checking out all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. It is able to climb these trees. Oh, <gasps> you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, we do need to adjust this platform. I wonder if, oh, no, I, that's, not, oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted to do. I just want to put it down just a touch to where it's not glitching with the other part. And then this can get moved down as well. All right. Oh, and then this needs to be just slightly adjusted, but we're going to adjust it on the angle. Oh, I guess we're not. And then this one apparently needs to get adjusted now too, because I had to adjust the other one. Perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at how gorgeous this looks with that mountain background and that sunrise. Everybody seems to be quite happy about this. Wow, look at that. Guys, it's so beautiful. And okay, now that, oh yay, we've got a reward, $1,000 for adopting and placing two different habitat species. Awesome. And we've reached 1,000 guests, which all of our guests are actually quite happy. We could work on our conservation rating, which I wanted to find some conservation boards and put some more of those up. <gasps> Holy cow, look at that view. <gasps> Gorgeous. Okay, we need more of these conservation boards. I have one by the main entrance that I want to get more of here. Um, because they can be placed. Oh, I just realized that it's like floating in the air. Okay, we can duplicate that and we're going to just put like another one over here, for example, because this is like a main area. And I think that'll look nice. And then we're going to change this one to like deforestation or something because we obviously are planting a lot of trees here and we are trying to ensure that people know like what this place is all about, right? So I want to grab another one of those and stick it over here, I think. Kind of along this pathway since there's like information. So if we go here, we can just grab it from that as well. And I'm going to turn this one this way. So we're going to have a couple different boards. Um, we're going to do a climate change one. And what about, uh, we'll do poaching and exotic pet trade. So hopefully that'll help some of our conservation, uh, in, like initiative as well. I don't, it, it's so crazy, like how much you would be able to change all of this stuff um put different images or whatever on there if you wanted to but guys i think this is looking pretty fantastic oh my gosh look at all of these ostrich oh my gosh y'all when did this happen 
Okay, we need to get, we need to figure out what all is going on. We've got all these babies. Some of them we're going to need to probably send to the, um, let's, let us start by maturity. We're going to go oldest. And we are going to put a couple of these guys on contraceptives because they are breeding like crazy. They need more enrichment. All right, so let's see what we can do. And again, we are going to go in the species. And let's see, common ostrich. There it is. Um, let's see, we'll do an herb scent marker. Oh, I didn't realize they like to have the, the those things as well. Um, we need some food enrichment, a slow feeder, I guess. Maybe that's the thing is like, we have these water bowls and all this stuff. See, we had a moment where things were quite um, challenging. We were quite um, in the hole with our funds financially, to say the least. Um, water stations, feeding stations. I guess this is the largest one we can do for the feeders, but we're gonna do a couple of them. At least they all are getting that water. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, they've had more babies. The peacocks had more babies. And I have been putting them on. Oh, I just realized this one. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful it is. I was clicked on the other one, but that's okay. I just realized that's facing the wrong direction. Maybe let's just turn this around. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna click on the cam for that. Are they about to mate? They look like they're trying to mate. That looks like mating to me. I'm such a bird lady. I do love my birds. And, um, oh my goodness, look at them all just doing their little, like, option, or like spreading their tail feathers, making the sounds. It always reminds me of Kevin from Up, <laughs> the bird that they're like looking for. Okay, we might need to see about possibly, no, it's not. Oh, I was like, what is this? I thought that was one of mine for a second. Nope. Um, okay, let's click on the hat. When is my habitat doing that? We also need to see, we're gonna get the mechanic every six months on these. Because I just realized, okay, this one is. But the other one was not set for that. And we want to make sure that the peacock don't escape. You all of this species. Okay, which one is it? Ronith? Ronith might need to be released to the wild. Only three conservation credits. He's got amazing lifespan fertility and fertility gene. So that's good. But just really quickly, I do want to um, look at some of this um, information on this animal, which I want, this is what I want to see is the genetic compare mates. Um, that looks like it has some decent, interesting, interesting. Um, this one's Ronith, compare mates. 
zero out of a hundred percent oh that's inbreeding that's inbreeding as well all right well we will just continue to get him traded out i think that's not what i was trying to do Ronith, we will release to the wild and you can be free in your little um okay let's see we have all of these females and some males as well and i want to i want to just view all the species on this cuz i'm going to put all these boys on contraceptives and i want to see okay cuz this one is the mother this one we can keep off of contraceptives cuz we can keep these young ones on contraceptives since those are all the, our babies that we would have had. That way we will prevent inbreeding, which will keep our stats much higher on our genetics. Like this one isn't that great, but like if we look at some of our others, um, let me see, look, let me look at the babies. Their immunity is much better. Size and longevity aren't that high, but we'll see as they start to mature and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I feel like this was a pretty good episode getting the habitat put in over here. Now we can really start to see the shape of this uh, place really changing. Um, over here we've got our ostrich, which has so many babies as well. We're probably going to need to look at these guys. Um, outsider. going to Put one of them out. Um, yeah, let me just go through and look at this really quickly. Because we have a bunch of these that are mature enough that I think could probably be released to the wild now. Um, there we go. Got 56 for those two ladies which we are doing our jobs for helping repopulate the wild, guys. This is so exciting. All right, so these are the parents. And yeah, they are definitely bonded. So um, I feel like they are going to be able to really... Yeah, these guys aren't able to be traded out yet. They're too little. But we were able to trade out a few of them. That'll help some of the social issues as well, I think, because when you get too many um, in your space, that's what happens. Just double checking these. We probably need to add the, just a little bit more land space for them, actually. Now that I'm looking at let's just go ahead and edit this barrier. We're going we're gonna to push this back this way. And we can't do it like that. Okay, we have an inspector that just left our um, a review here. So sometimes it's just easier to move each of these individual posts. Um, and this one I'm actually going to raise up. If it will let me. Why is it doing this? There we go. That's what I wanted. And then we'll probably need to do that on this little. That's really weird that it did that like that. Sometimes it's not always like the most. Um, let's see if we can. See. Is this one set? This one's also set to every six months, but I'm just gonna. Nope, I don't wanna edit that. I wanna have the mechanic come just now because it's 58% um, status. And I feel like maybe we need to like add a little bit more of a viewing angle on this. So, what if we go through and just add a couple here and then. We're going to pull this this way. What is happening? Um, 
put one right there. And I feel like that makes it just like nicer for them to be able to see from a wider angle on all of these animals because they're all gathering in this one little area. And now look, they're already coming over here, which just makes the guests so much happier. Not going to lie. But there's a weird thing happening with that path right there. I just realized. <gasps> nope. Not going to do that. What in the world? Y'all. Why would it do that? Okay. We're just going to go like this. Um, nope, not right there. Why is this not, I don't want to do an angle snap. And that's not what I want to do. Why? Okay, we're going to undo it because that's, that's the crazy I just want to get this one little spot like undone and it's undoing that entire thing, which is really stupid that it would be doing that. But anyways, I digress. Look at how beautiful it is, y'all. It's all lit up nicely. We can see everything that we need to see. We've got extra spaces. We could add more habitats on here pretty soon. And at some point, we're going to be able to start wrapping it around this way as well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and getting to see the animals and the things that have been new to this habitat. And, you know, um, this is something that's always so challenging with um, having the franchise mode is that you are working within constraints. But look at this right now. We have $91,000 coming in. That's fantastic. We have so much money. We should be able to actually we're just going to do this really quickly. Go to finances. And go to our loans and we're gonna like we're done with that loan yay that's so exciting anyways i look forward to see you guys again next time make sure to hit the subscribe and if you like this video make sure to like it on the video so that youtube knows that this is the kind of content that you want to see more of and it also helps let me know what you guys like and you know be sure to leave comments as well because otherwise I'm not going to know what you guys want to see more of um, in this. And I think there's just so much fun things that we can do within this uh, game. So you guys enjoy and I will see you guys around next time. Bye.